Hey, how's it going, YouTube? It's Dave from SignalMorning.com. So I just wanted to uh, expound upon the last video where we created the WSUS check-in script that forces the WSUS check-in. So the last video, we kind of came up with the working script, added this parameter requirement. So to make this thing a, f a fully functional function, as far as PowerShell is concerned, you have to add this line here, function, and then this name, force dash WSUS check in, you can name it whatever you want to name it, but that's how you'll call it. So this line with the curly bracket, and then just make sure you close out the curly bracket here at the end. So how do we use this thing once we have it uh, all set up? So if we look at the function directory, this is where all the... So these are all the default functions in PowerShell that are loaded into memory by default. And this is done on a per session basis. So if I want to use this function command, there are a couple different ways I can do it. I can just highlight this all and run it. So it ran down here at the bottom. Now I can look at the function drive again. And there you can see my force WSUS check in is loaded into memory. So at this point, I can force, and you notice it came up with the little uh, window there that IntelliSense can sense that function is loaded. It's going to look up for the computer name, and I'll just use localhost. I'll let that run for a second. So I just broke that command. Uh, I don't have any uh, WSUS configuration on this machine, so it was going to error out. But that's how you basically load the function in the memory and um, and call it to use it if you want. So another, an alternate way you can do this is add it to the profile so it loads on every session. So if you hit dollar, look at the profile variable. So there is my profile script. So I want to open that in notepad so what I can do is copy that in here so every time I open another window or PowerShell session it's going to run that script and load it into memory so let's make sure in this window I don't have it loaded. Okay, so it's not loaded there. Run it as administrator. And you do a, a dir function and you can see now it's loaded in to memory now for this session. So every time you open up another uh, PowerShell session on this computer using my profile, uh, it'll automatically load that function so I can use it, you know, without having to go through the uh, the hassle of running it individually before I can make use of it. So there's WSS chicken. So just a little bit about functions, um, how you can make your scripts functions and how you can call them in or automatically load them into memory so they're a little bit easier to uh, use a little bit more streamlined so i appreciate you stopping by hey thanks for stopping by and watching i really appreciate it if you like this video please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel uh, you can contact me at the social media links listed there and until the next time